Hey everybody, David Dobson, Remax First. Excited to start this video series. This is the first one that I'm doing about architecture and residential history in Oklahoma. But I wanna flash back to the introduction video of last week and finish up the questions about that particular home. I asked the question, was this a Georgian or a colonial or both? And the answer is actually a little bit of both. However, in 1765, there was a movement away from the English-inspired Georgians and a move toward what is considered the federal design, which at that time would be completely appropriate since they were headed into the New Republic. What better place to start this series this week than the original Oklahoma Territory capital than Guthrie, Oklahoma? Most of Guthrie has a late Victorian architecture. But today, we're going to talk about the beauty behind me. This is a plantation colonial revival. Built in 1900 itself, two-story, the columns, wraparound porch. If walls could talk, this house would definitely have a story, especially since one of the original owners was Frank Greer. The term plantation home was originally coined because they faced the plantation and the back usually faced or was close to a river, which was the main highway of that generation. The design of the house stressed cross ventilation by placing the rooms next to each other with very few hallways. Things like windows, porches were also placed for maximum shade and cooling ventilation for the home. Just remember, Back then, they didn't have central heat and air, so the placement of these rooms for the ventilation was very important. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. Stay tuned for the next one. We will be looking for the perfect tutor. Crown Heights, here we come. And you can always check out houses online, davidcoldobson.com. Thank you.